You are in your office doing your important things because you are the owner and founder of a company called Global Cooling. Your company is the one which uses creative and innovative methods to reduce the temperature of a particular area with the essential permissions and a fair payment. Really? Is it going to happen? Can you control the temperature of a place? But why and how? One day, you got a deal from the Indian government to settle the temperatures of their country. Because on March 1st, the Indian Meteorological Department announced the heat conditions in India this summer. This summer is expected to be warmer than usual over most regions of India, and India have a threat from heat waves. To make it more worse, it is impossible to predict the heat waves. Not only India, every nation is facing this drastic temperature rise. This is due to global warming, and it's due to the greenhouse gas emissions. And we know the famous greenhouse gas is a carbon bonded with two oxygen friends to make it CO2, the carbon dioxide. Burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and agricultural reasons contributing to the global warming. As a consequence of global warming, our Earth's surface temperature is higher than it was 100 years ago. In 2003, Europe faced a massive heat wave. Roughly 15,000 people in France died from heat-related causes, and there were 35,000 total deaths in Europe. Global warming affects every person in every nation in a way that we can't imagine. From sea level rise to increasing death rate, global warming affects every aspect that contributes to human survival. It's a great problem. But we are not going to focus on the problems in this video. We'll focus on the creative ways to stop global warming. There is 95% chance that global climate change has attributed to human factors. The best solution for global warming is to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. We need to quit using fossil fuels. On the other hand, replacing the famous fossil fuels with CO2 free renewable energies will be expensive and difficult. Moreover, it will take a lot of time. So, geoengineering, also called climate engineering, can be a promising solution. Geoengineering is a term for human interventions that change the Earth's climate system. A report from the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change highlighted geoengineering as a necessary plan B if temperature rises can be managed. It could be the only affordable and fast-acting option to avoid a global catastrophe. Geoengineering techniques are two types. One is CDR, carbon dioxide removal, which removes greenhouse gases from the atmosphere after they have already been released. We can use biological agents such as land plants and aquatic algae or industrial chemical processes to remove CO2 from the atmosphere. This CO2 can be compressed and stored underground in geological reservoirs. Another biological approach is storing CO2 in the ocean. This would encourage tiny organisms to bind the carbon in their physical structures. Another type of geoengineering strategy is SRM, Solar Radiation Management. Unlike CDR, this idea helps to decrease the emission of greenhouse gases by reflecting the sunlight back to space. SRM has the potential to buy time and reduce short-term impacts. Now we are going to discuss four geoengineering strategies that can help us to cool Earth's surface temperature. First one is stratospheric or mesospheric aerosol injection. This is the most popular method in SRM. It was inspired by volcanic eruptions. The Mount Pinatuba erupted in 1991 and the Earth's surface temperature decreased by 0.5 degrees Celsius for the next three years. Mount Tambora in Indonesia erupted in 1815 which produced such a noticeable climate effect that the year following the eruption became known as the year without summer. Because when a volcano erupts, it sends an ash cloud high into the atmosphere. The sulfur dioxide released in the plume combines with water to form sulfuric acid aerosols, which are able to reflect incoming sunlight. For cooling effect, we can use planes or balloons to introduce aerosols artificially into the atmosphere. Injecting reflective aerosols into the upper atmosphere is relatively cheap compared to the sudden quitting of using fossil fuels. Second one is marine cloud brightening. This involves using ships to spray salt water into the clouds above the sea. In the air, the salt particles would act as cloud condensation nuclei, 
which means they can help for the fast condensation of water vapor into liquid. As more water droplets are created, clouds would appear larger and brighter. It's just making those existing clouds a bit brighter and it can help us to cool our planet. Next one is high albedo crops and buildings. This would involve making rooftops and walls brighter by painting them white so the sunlight reflects back. This technique is not such an effective one, but it could potentially help reduce the highest temperatures to reduce health problems caused by heat waves. White buildings are already common in some areas. The fourth strategy is space sunshades. This idea is to send a giant mirror or fleet of mirrors into orbit in order to reflect away more sunlight from the Earth. The size of the mirror would determine how much sunlight it could reflect back towards space and therefore its cooling effect. All of these techniques may look interesting and promising, but each of these techniques have their own limitations. The common and major limitation is that we don't know much about our atmosphere. There are a lot of variables that govern the climate of an area. If we don't have proper understanding of climate, how can we modify our climate? There are chances that climate engineering could lead to unexpected harmful changes. Many of these techniques involve active participation of all the nations and proper study of our atmosphere. Everyone on this planet who is sharing the precious oxygen have the responsibility to stop climate change. You don't need to do amazing stuff like aerosol injection or anything. Just plant a tree and treat it like your family. That's more than amazing. It's not too late. Don't save trees that deserve equal rights like all the creatures on this planet. Just give what rightfully theirs.